Hey, what's going on everybody? It's TJ Sketch and welcome back to the channel. Just want to take a quick look at a game that came out a little over a month ago. The newest title from Saber Interactive and Focus Home Interactive. Uh, this one kind of flew under the radar for a lot of people, myself included, up until about a week after it released and I picked it up to check it out for myself. And uh, this one would be War, War Z based on the 2006 novel and the 2013 movie release with Brad Pitt and a um, slew of other people, but uh, I, I don't really remember that I remember some parts of that movie, but uh, it was cool for what I remember. And uh, this one, I was honestly really surprised with this game in particular because this is probably the closest thing to Left 4 Dead 3 we're gonna get, at least for a while. Uh, I'm not really sure why Valve can't count to three, but uh, eh, maybe someday. Well, I guess maybe. But uh, aside from all that, Basically what you got here is instead of a first person shooter like Left 4 Dead, you got a third person overhead or more like uh, The Division I'd say is probably the closest comparison I could think of. And uh, you have three missions per area and the areas you have are New York, Jerusalem, Moscow, and Tokyo. Tokyo only has two sections, I'm hoping maybe they'll bring more to that one because honestly parts of that were honestly some of the best parts in the game. You have four characters per section, randomly generated. And pretty much it's the like it's literally there are some liberties <laughs> I'll go ahead and say at that are uh, borrowed from Left 4 Dead maybe not verbatim but uh pretty close I mean the only thing missing is the witch really and I think the uh god I forget like the one not the smoker but the one that has like the tongue that could like grab you and like pretty much pull you in and shit that was the only other enemy that's technically missing if you wanted to go full on verbatim with Left 4 Dead but, I mean, you have your tank, you have your uh, lurker or your hunter, you got your uh, the smoker or, like, or the gas bag as they call them here. And uh, as far as like enemy-wise, you pretty much got everything from Left 4 Dead except from the witch. And the gunplay is about the same. The gunplay actually feels pretty good. Honestly, like going into this, like I saw a couple videos about this initially when it came out. It was like, there's a World War Z game, really? And then I even more surprised, I was like, and it's good. I'm like it's like it's a good game so after like beat going through the division I was I checked it out and honestly I can concur like this is actually especially for like a budget title that's 40 bucks or it's probably it might be cheaper now it's been out for a month and we all know AAA games or even like just games that hit retail shelves in general those go down in price real fast especially the new ones so this one might be still it might be hanging in there at 40 bucks because honestly 40 bucks is worth it and I'll get into why in just a moment. Or it could be even cheaper at this point. It could be 30 But either is totally fair price for this. And for the money, basically you get like uh, the 11 online maps. Or offline or offline. Basically this is like, the menu, even the menu setup is very similar to Left 4 Dead. Except you have customizable weapons and also customizable classes. You have your gunslinger, your medic, pretty much your, God, I'm trying to think, demolition, like I, I'm forgetting the words for, or the terms I use for all of these, but you have about six or seven different classes you can use, I'm using the gunslinger in these playthroughs you're seeing now, each have different sets of perks, they have about maybe, I forget how many levels they have each, I want to say I'm getting close to like level 30 on my gunslinger, and that's, and I think, believe 30 is the max, so even with the limited amount of maps that you have, like what you get here is like you get some pretty good, pretty good gunplay, of, for sure, if you have a crew to bring along with you on this one, I recommend it because uh, the computer AI, it's uh, not the greatest. I mean, it, it can it's serviceable and they can actually get the job done most of the time. But on those harder difficulties, like even on normal, the computer has a uh, hard times making the right decision. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. And uh, yeah, if you can get some homies to go along on this one with, I would highly, highly recommend it. And uh, basically get like just tons of weapons, tons of gadgets, and also just tons and tons of zombies. Honestly, it's kind of crazy like the amount of shit they get on screen with this game. Because I thought Left 4 Dead was kind of like the high point as far as like that one, Serious Sam. As far as being the high points of what you can have going on screen at once. And uh, this game is impressive in that regard. The people over at Saber Interactive, they did a really good job with this one. And uh, I'm curious if there's going to be more content added in. I mean, if they add like new episodes, that would be sick. Honestly, that would be really, really cool to have like a pseudo like online zombie game. Besides DayZ and H1Z1 and all that stuff. Just like a simple, just like go through, shoot them up kind of game. That'd be sick. I don't know if it's on the table, but 
just saying that would be awesome <laughs> what else uh, basically if you just want some quick mindless fun if you just want to do pretty much you can do it like at your leisure you can either do like all the missions at once if you want to or you can just do like one episode or one piece of an episode at a time so it's good for if you're kind of trying to budget your time and also just want something quick to play and don't want to think too hard about it this one again highly recommended if you see this one out it's on pc xbox one and the ps4 and uh dude for 40 bucks there's definitely worse things you can buy for that hell there's worse things that are out there for 60 <laughs> yeah <laughs> so if i know i rambled about this one but even still if you find these re even remotely helpful that's awesome and i'm stoked that this is a resource to you and uh if you like what you're seeing subscribe or hit the like button all that kitschy youtuber stuff <laughs> and uh yeah man honestly if you're into zombie games and want something new to play to scratch that itch until left for dead 3 either does not doesn't get announced officially at some point this is not a bad place to start i recommend it a sketch. I'll see you later.